Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Himanshu and we are continuing our journey of Apex Developer Curriculum, our Salesforce Developer Masterclass. We are continuing our journey on understanding some basic plain simple use cases to understand what we have you know, learned so far. Alright, so we did like two use cases, password attempts and then attendance report. Now it's time to understand about a counter. Right. Let's take a look at the use case. This is a bit funny. Uh, write a method that tracks the number of times make sense is used in a list of strings. So you must have heard me saying a lot of uh, make sense, make sense, because Salesforce makes sense is, is, is what I've created this channel as the name. And I, I keep using this word make sense just to ensure whether it makes sense to you. What we are going to do as part of this method is I'll write a set of statements and we'll pass it to a method and see how many of them contain make sense. All right, that's the use case. Let's create our method. And for those of you who are already excited to do it on your own, go ahead, pause the video here, try to set up the method, execute it. And if it all looks good, continue the video and see how I implement it. All right, so the first thing, what should be the name of the method? I'll say check for makes sense keyword all right this should be the name of the method what should it accept as input a list of string you see it is mentioned here how many times it is used in a list of strings so i'll give this method a list of statements so list of string and statements would be the variable name like all right and what should be the data type and the access modifier it should be public static and it should return me an integer again the number of times which is a numerical value which will be a whole number so integer okay if it was a it was not a whole value it, if it would have been like let's say 5.3 you would have returned a decimal okay all right let's return zero by default for now so that this error goes away on line six because i'm not returning anything let's say save now I need to pass this method a list of strings. So let's assume I'll pass it. What I want to do is I want to check for each statement that has been passed. For each statement passed in the list. If it contains the keyword makes sense, I need to increment a counter by one every time very similar the incrementation of the counters very similar to the previous use cases okay just that the data type of the parameter has changed all right and finally return the integer variable or the count variable so let's quickly create a variable it will be called integer I'll say makes sense counter. I'll initialize it to zero. All right. Now I'll iterate over my list. So what is the data type of the elements that are in the list? It's string. So I'll say for each statement in statement. See how I'm saying and how, how, how am I writing it? I'm saying for each string statement in, str in statements. So statement is the variable that will be the loop variable statements is this particular method param that is the list of strings and colon and the string is the syntax of how we write it okay what i'll do is i'll check if statement what do i need to check i need to check whether this entire statement what could be a statement the statement could be so this is how maps are used makes sense right what could be a statement welcome to salesforce makes sense what could be another statement this is our apex developer masterclass all right what could be another statement like this video if not go ahead and like it now all right these are all statements and these all will be part of this particular statements variable that I'll pass to this method. And what I want the method to identify is if the statement contains the keyword makes sense. If it does, increment it by one. And then return the final response. The final response should be two if I'm returning this set of statements. 
okay so what do i need what do i need to do here in the if condition i want to say if statement dot contains what does it contain it contains makes sense if it does i simply want to increment my counter to plus one that's it that's your entire code every time it if you have a statement which has the which has the make sense keyword you can simply increment your counter and you can just simply return this counter variable back to your method and you can debug and check what is the result that's it as simple as that right so what we'll do now is we'll simply create a list of string we'll try to call this method okay let's get rid of all of this let's say batch basic uses use cases in apex dot check for make sense password and I need to give it a list of strings. So I'll create a list of string statements equals new list of string. All right, how do I add records to a list? I simply say dot add. So I'll say dot add and I'll put the first line. All right, I'll just copy it four times. Let's try to send four statements, okay? Similar to what we wrote so that we can see how the count looks and what is the count. So based on what I'm writing, what do you think would be the count? The count should be two. Okay, let's see. So I'll simply say all the four values and I'll pass this variable as the method parameter and I'll assign it to a final answer variable because whatever my method is returning, I want to debug that final answer okay so quickly just think and let me know what would be the final what would be the final count these are the statements okay let's see let's execute so the method executed fine and let's take a look at the debug only statement to see what is the final count it says it's one why is it one it should be two you see make sense is here and make sense is here as well the reason it is one is because it is trying to compare the case as well so if you notice M and S here are in lowercase where whereas this exactly is same as what we have checked which is why this one is not evaluating to true in this if condition only the second item in our statements variable is is actually matching the criteria that we have put so Himanshu how do we make sense how do we make sure that our statements check irrespective of the case because the word is fine right the word is same I want to check I don't want to worry about the case so instead of putting an contains method you have a method that's called contains ignore case save so what you'll do is you'll use this method that's called contains ignore case and what this will do is this will check irrespective of whatever is the case if, if it is completely caps lock if it is completely lowercase if it is snake case if it is kebab case if it is sentence case any kind of case it will ignore the case and it will just match the string and now when we try to run it and try to say execute let's take a look at the log let's see debug only and you'll notice now the re re result is 2 which is perfectly what we wanted all right so that was our use case